Hi guys, decided it's about time I make a start on my uh, Scandi knife. Um, got some new tools through which I hope will help. Uh, I'll show you those in a sec. Uh, design's all done. Hopefully, uh, I can make it look something like that, which is based on my Hotafors. Uh, handle which I find fits my hand really well and I really like that. So let's have a look at the tools I've got. So first up I've got this uh, Dremel type tool um, obviously not a real Dremel but it'll do the, do the job it's a silver line brand only cost about £20 so uh, a lot cheaper than the Dremel uh, and I also got a couple of extra kits there, sanding, sanding kits uh, and other accessories another thing I managed to pick up was this uh, little uh, clamp vise uh, which means I won't have to go out to the shed every time I want to work on the knife uh, I can just do it here in my in my house, uh, which will be a bit more comfortable. I picked this up at uh, was it Lidl? Uh, it just cost un under ten pounds, so more than impressed with that. Uh, I had to have it sitting on the book. It just wasn't high enough to clear just there, so I can have it flat for uh, working on the handle. Another thing I managed to pick up was this uh, hole punch uh, which should help me in making the sheath. And this came as a set with uh, this with the uh, press studs and this with the, um, you know, I can't even remember what they're called. Uh, but all together uh, cost £3.99 of a dough, so happy with that too and as you've seen if you've seen uh, my introduction video this is uh, all the knife kit so I need to fit this on uh, it involves just filing down a bit of this so I use the Dremel <clears throat> Right, so that's the bolster on. Okay, that's now the rough design, just of the handle drawn out onto the onto the wood, top and bottom, and then just got to drill in there for the uh, tank. <clears throat> so, I think that's my next job. And get that drilled out. I'm going to use this uh, flat bit to draw it out. That should get down there, and then uh, we'll gradually extend the extend the hole as we come out. So that's it. The handle's all drilled. All the, the piece of antler there. Uh, all ready for gluing. So we're going to move on to that step next using uh, the Yuhu Plus. So get a big load of this mixed up and then uh, we'll um, get it stuck together. So that's it, the handle's all glued up. Uh, next step will be to start shaping. Uh, don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, mixture, the Dremel sandpaper, 
one lately. And uh, that's all. I shall start shaping the handle. I'll probably bring you back part way through. See how it's going on. We'll start the rough rough cutting out just uh, using the hacksaw. Um, and get rid of the majority of the excess wood. There you go, that's the rough shape cut out. Yeah. Still quite thick so round enough to do. Uh, but yeah, it's a good start. Now on the, with the set some standing. Okay, I think I've gone as far as I'm gonna go with the uh, Dremel. Now on to just uh, sandpaper. <laughs> just saw myself in the mirror. Uh, this is what I look like after using the Dremel. <laughs> what a mess. Yep, I'm just gonna start using sandpaper now so uh, should start taking her uh, final shape, so look forward to it. That's kind of taking shape now. Uh, not bad, it's an asymmetric handle uh, designed to fit my hand. Uh, still, a bit on the, still a bit on the fat side so I'm just slimming it down a bit. Uh, it's, uh, it's getting a nice, nice grip. Nice grip in there. Right, just need a bit more taint off here and maybe take a bit off that edge. But it's, uh, it's looking not bad. After leaving this uh, overnight and uh, feeling it in the hand this morning, I've decided that uh, the handle's finished. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a final uh, sanding with some fine. Fine sandpaper, give it a quick clean up and then just oil it with some uh, linseed oil. So I shall get on with the sanding uh, and I'll join you back in a bit uh, when I start the oiling process. Alright, that's the handle uh, all sanded down now. I'm going to wipe it over with this microfiber cloth, just remove all the any traces of dust. And then we'll give it a give it an oiling. Uh, I'm just going to be using this boiled linseed oil. So just get a bit of this. In the fingers. And in. A good rubbing in all, all over. Alright, we'll leave that dry off for a bit and we'll come back maybe an hour or so, put another coat on. Well, there it is. That's it, the knife's finished. Uh, I'm very impressed with the way it turned out. It's Handle. The blades really a good length. Yeah, so next uh, I'm going to make the sheath, but we'll do that. Make a different video for that one. Uh, get this edited and get it uploaded I 
But yeah, very impressed with the way it turned out.